This is the Baker Cavalry Shotgun made by Pedersoli in Italy. It's a 20 gauge double barrel percussion shotgun. The barrels are 11 and a quarter inches long and has an overall length of 27 and a half inches. According to Pedersoli, they patterned this after shotguns that were being produced in England during the 1850s made by gunmaker Ezekiel Baker. During that time, many of those shotguns had been imported into the United States and were apparently quite common here. In 1861, the American Civil War began, and the Confederate States were in desperate need of arms, so just about any firearm available was pressed into service, including shotguns. It's been well documented that, primarily in the early part of the war, some Confederate cavalry units used short barrel shotguns quite extensively and were apparently pretty effective. But as the war progressed, a change in tactics and the availability of other arms made the use of the shotgun less common. So this is Pedersoli's interpretation of a shotgun that may have been used by the Confederate cavalry. Pedersoli may be using a bit of their imagination here, because it's not very likely that any shotguns used by the cavalry had been cut down this short. From what I've read, there aren't any surviving examples of shotguns used during that time that have barrels this abbreviated, shall we say. Not to say that it's not possible there were, but it seems it would really limit a shotgun's practicality being this short. These barrels are a straight cylinder bore and have no choke whatsoever. So with barrels this short and having no choke to them, the effective range of this shotgun won't be very far and I'm sure the shot pattern will be pretty large, even at short range. Well, there's one way to find out. Let's put a few rounds through it and see what it'll do. All right, so we're out the range now with the Baker Cavalry Shotgun. And I picked a nice rainy day to do this, but at least I'm guaranteed to have the range to myself, so that's a good thing. First step, of course, is to get this thing loaded up, so let's get to that right now. There's actually a few different methods of doing this, but this is probably the most common one we'll be doing today. I have these vials here. I have them preloaded with 60 grains of 2F Go-X black powder. So powder will go in first. Next we have a, kind of a thick fiberboard over powder wad. So we'll put that in next. Tamp it down. Next thing to go in is one of these cushion wads. And this is a fiber wad. I have it lubricated with uh, vegetable oil. And just a cheap, inexpensive vegetable oil, nothing fancy. And next will be our shot. What I'm using is one ounce of number four buckshot. That equals about 21 pellets or so. I uh, can already read the comments below, why are you using number four buckshot instead of something like double up buckshot? Well, the reason is, this is only 20 gauge, and double up buck really doesn't stack in the barrel very well at all. There'd be too many gaps, it's just not a good fit, and I'd get a terrible pattern. With the number four, it stacks in the barrel much more, much, much more nicely, and hopefully, hopefully, we'll get a better pattern with number four buckshot instead of the number, uh, instead of a double O or something bigger like that. So we'll see, hope for the best. And last is one of these thin overshot paper cards. Can't think very well today. All right, let's load it up. Let's cap it and see what kind of damage it can do. So I have a nice wet target set up about seven yards away. I think that's plenty of distance today. See uh, how this performs. So let's give this Baker Cavalry shotgun a tryout. So one thing I should point out, these barrels are very short. So if you don't want to be counting the fingers you don't have anymore, make sure you keep your support hand well away from the muzzle there because uh, it could do some pretty nasty things if you get your hand out towards the noisy end. So be very careful. All right. <laughs> well, that was fun. All right, let's see what kind of damage it did. Well, that seemed to pepper them pretty good. Most of the pellets fell right in the center there. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Yeah, that's all I see. I thought there was a few more pellets in there, but maybe not. Anyway, 
Not a bad performance, I think. It's a pretty wide spread. Even at seven yards, that is wide. But that would be pretty devastating to, to someone. Very interesting. All right, I'm gonna try something else. So I have a water jug set up there now. It's an Arizona iced tea jug. They're a little thicker and heavier duty than your typical water or milk jug or something like that. So it'll be inter interesting to see what this does against that. Well, let's try it out. Took the top right off of it. Unfortunately, that's all the time I had to play around with this today, but it was certainly a lot of fun. There are some other things I want to try with this, different loading techniques, and I want to try to put some bird shot through it too, but that'll have to wait till another video, so stay tuned for that one, and in the meantime, thanks for watching.